another like beautiful rural image. Like look at this, this really is like Breath of the Wild all of a sudden. It's like, I, I never expected this, oh god. Storm clouds gathering. Like, do you see these like raindrops on this rock? There's like a scene like this, like exactly in... Like, what's it reminding me of? It's like in some film, is it Princess Mononoke or one of those? And there's like a similar kind of like, um, like shot like that where rain is just starting to fall on a rock? Or is it in Grave of the Fireflies? It's in like a f some film like that anyway. The Muddy Stream. Swampert was probably here. Getting his rocks off with his muddy water. <laughs> Jesus, look at this. Like, I, I'm getting, like, sensory overload from all of these images on the screen right now that, like, are, like, nothing I have ever encountered in either this game or the game before. Oh my god. Is it a goat? Oh my god, finally, we are going to find out who the fuck this is. <laughs> are we seriously? Because that's that girl, isn't it? What's she gonna do, like, hang out over the river, like, in Jumanji? <laughs> Fuck, are you serious? How can she, like, swim in that raging torrent? We don't know, we- I, I, all the action commands and quick time events in the world cannot- cannot help us in here. It's a calf, I think. I don't think it's a goat at all. It's like you have hands, you don't have claws at all. I don't even know. I, I can't decide whether it's a goat or a cow. Because it's like its horns don't look like either animals. Like, what are we thinking right now? Like, the two of us. Well, I know what Ryo was thinking. He's thinking that crazy bitch just jumped into the river. I got to do something. I don't know what she's thinking. We did it. Okay. Well, at least. Oh, it's a deer. That's what it is. It's like a baby deer. Yeah. Screw Bambi. Let's save ourselves. What in blue blazes? Like, like seriously, I was just about to say, like I was just saying, I am experiencing like sensory overload, like all of these like images and scenes that I have never seen before in, in, in Shenmue 1 or Shenmue 2 are just kind of leaving me breathless. Like, like the, co like Andrea Kaur. Now everything's beautiful again. Everything is beautiful in its own way. I can't, like, I'm finally going to find out who the fuck this is. Seriously. Because she's, like, been this kind of mysterious element that, that, no, that nobody knows who she is or what her purpose is. But it's like, you know she's important. We've got brilliant music again. A nice, like, slow, serene version of that theme. Look at that water in the background, it's so blue. Oh, okay. So if, like, anything happened to it, then your village would suffer a hideous fate or whatever. Hakkason? 
And you have to go to those mountains. How many more times am I going to say that for real? Like, it's like I'm, I'm like a broken record here. Shenhua. Finally, finally, we know who it is. It's like, who's that girl? <laughs> It's like, how many more songs am I going to sing in this recording session? Like, this is what I mean. Like, would you ever believe? Like, if you listen to that coming out on top video, that part four, like, and, and now you listen to me in this video, would you ever believe that it's the same day? No, he's my Japanese boy. Seriously, you two? Japan needs to up its publicity. That is true. Yes, we've come a long way. Well, don't tell me it's some prophecy or some shit. What island is at least we have a guide now. Like, wait a second, do I have the option to, like, not say anything here? Because it's like, oh. Or what? Like, like I'm wondering, like, what, what you do. Because it's like, oh, you have the option to talk to her. But, but you don't have to. <laughs> hurry on, it's like, hurry your ass up. It's like, I, I like that wagon, you old dragon. What is that in again? It's like some... Some guy says it to some old lady or something. In some TV show or some film. And it's like, it, it sounds like so, like, so, like, sleazy. It's like, I like that wagon, you old dragon. What is that? Oh my god. I'm just going to remain silent. Oh, this is like one of those like scenes where we just like, get to enjoy the scenery. So far I'm loving this. This is everything I wanted from disc 4. Just to like get that out of the way because... Do you remember like disc 3 was like so high octane and like and nerve... Like not nerve wracking but nail bitingly tense at times. And like what I, w I was just saying, like I would love if Disc Four just kind of like took it down a gear, and like really, like you just got to chill out and like enjoy the atmosphere and enjoy the story or whatever. And first of all, I had no idea that it was going to be this beautiful. But but secondly, I'm so happy that that seems to be what's happening. Because to be honest, I would be happy if. Like, I would be perfectly happy if, like, nothing in particular happened for the rest of the game. Not like, not like if nothing in particular happened for the rest of the game, but if, like, we just got to, like, um, enjoy the story for the rest of the game and there doesn't need to be a load of action and fighting and things like that, because I think, I think, like, Disc 3 had, had enough of that. Um, but so far, like, Disc 4 isn't disappointing whatsoever. I mean, like, if, if, if when you're describing what this game is evoking for you um, is like Breath of the Wild and Okami. It's like, it's like you're you're not doing a bad job, you know. They're two of the most like enjoyable, beautiful games in existence. So, yeah, I don't know. That's that's just my thoughts. It's like this is really nice just to have this time here, actually, just to have this like downtime. Where you don't have to talk to people, where you're just able to chill out and, and kick back and, and watch and enjoy. And as well, finally finding out who she is. Like, as I say, like you, you never she's like this mysterious element that that you know she's important and you know she's pivotal to the story in some way, but like you never find out anything about her, and I can't believe like you don't find out anything until, like, the, the final act of, of the second game, I guess. We still don't know who she is, we know her name, but we still don't know what role she's going to play in any of this. Um, which I think is, like, indicative of the, of the fact that wasn't this supposed to be, like, a huge, like, multi-multi-game 
saga, pretty much. Like, there was supposed to be, like, Shenmue 3, 4, blah, blah, blah. Um, and yeah, now now there it looks like there is going to be a Shenmue 3, but we'll, we'll just have to see what the end product is like there. If it, if it, like, has the same attention to detail and perfectionism of the first two games, then, then I, I think we're in for a treat. Like, look at this again, another beautiful, like, different scene, scenery, like, in, like, with these beautiful yellow trees or whatever. It's like, how gorgeous. Olives? She was so skinny, she looked like olive oil. <laughs> I'll talk to her. It's like we have, we have the option to talk to her, but we don't have to. We can just enjoy the silence if we want. Really? My f my friend is actually going to not that this has anything to do with China, but like it, it just reminded me when they were like, oh, all the flowers or whatever. My one of my best friends is going to be in Seoul um, this week, um, and I am so jealous. First of all, but like timing wise, how amazing! Like the end of March and the beginning of April, like it's going to be. Um, it's going to be like cherry blossom season or whatever and as far as she um, told me anyway like flower viewing and cherry blossoms are just as big a deal in in South Korea as they are in Japan so it's going to be really really cool and as I say I'm really really jealous that she's going there it's like imagine knowing my luck she'll she'll be there the one week she's in she's in South Korea she'll meet J-Hope or something or like end up on the subway well no not the subway on like the metro with with I don't know um with Baekhyun or something and I'll die but yeah I don't think that'll happen but it th theoretically it could happen like that old lady that met Jay-Z on the subway <laughs> oh my god so yeah um, games-wise, actually, I got, um, I actually finally picked up I Am Setsuna, which I hadn't picked up at all. It was on, like, the the, the Switch eShop for 50% off or whatever, and I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and pick it up. And so far, I really like it. It's just really kind of, like, what I like about it is it's not overcomplicated. Like, it's kind of just, okay, you know the formula, this is the RPG, enjoy. And it's really just kind of like there are no kind of extra frills and complicated systems and it doesn't like um it, it there's like a good balance with the story and action and things like that and is i'm enjoying it a lot so far so i'm looking forward to playing more of it um and regarding games as well i got the new kirby game last weekend when on the on its release date or whatever um star allies and finished it in two days, that's how much fun I had playing it. And I actually really enjoyed it, like I found it a very enjoyable game. Um, now the thing is, like, Hedonia was saying on Twitter he was like left cold by it a little bit, like he enjoyed it, but um, it kind of didn't wow him. He was like a little bored by it, but like I think that's because it's pretty much like the same kind of style of um, Adventure Wii and Planet Robobot and Triple Deluxe, and the thing is I've never played Triple Deluxe or Planet Robobot, so... Like, I think I'm, I'm not as kind of, um, desensitized to it, I guess. This is so pretty, like, I can't- I, like, I think these scenes just speak for themselves in, in their beauty. あ、そうだな。本当に花みたいだ。私、小さい頃に蝶が一斉に飛び立つのを見て、本当にお花が飛んでいったと思って、なんで飛んだの。でも、どうしてこんなにたくさん？どうして？あ、花も咲いてないの
This really is amazing. Like, look at all of them. Like again, like another beautiful sort of sort of scene here. Um, what was it? Like, what what's this like bringing into my mind? It's like because everything has to remind me of something. It's like that's like ninety percent of my commentary is just like this reminds me of this. This reminds me of this. This reminds me of this. It was reminding me of like joy pendants. Like these flock to happiness like but butterflies to nectar filled flowers. <laughs> 